Hello, and thank you for the invitation to provide a briefing during the Internet Governance Forum 2021 Open Consultations. My name is Robin Geis. I'm director of the United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research, better known by its acronym UNIDIR. International ICT security is a prominent concern of many stakeholders involved in the IGF, and it is very high on the agenda of the United Nations. And for good reason. As noted by the Roadmap for Digital Cooperation, cyber capabilities developed by states and non-state actors are not only increasing, but they're also becoming more and more sophisticated. UNIDIA has been actively involved in the topic of international ICT security for many years now. And our contribution takes various formats and our activities cover many interconnected topics from the operationalization of the norms of responsible behavior, state behavior, to cyber crisis resolution mechanisms and confidence building measures. As you know, the GTE and OEWG recently concluded with consensual reports on international ICT security. And I'm very happy that UNIDEA was given the opportunity to provide expert support to both processes throughout their mandates. I'm also delighted that both groups officially recognized the work of UNIDEA in the area of confidence building by inviting states to contribute to our cyber policy portal. UNIDEA is an autonomous research institute, and as such, we've conducted several research projects focusing on international ICT security in the past. Much of our recent work has focused on the investigation of the voluntary norms of state behavior in cyberspace. Together with the applicable international law, these norms of behavior have the potential to strengthen peace and security. For instance, recently we published reports on the normative expectation in the event of a cyber incident affecting critical infrastructure. The research project explored the mechanisms of cooperation when existentially important national assets are affected by a cyber incident. Other past research projects focusing on cyber norms revolved around issues such as supply chain security, responsible vulnerability disclosure, and due diligence. In its 2021 report, the GGE observed that a number of states are developing ICT capacities capabilities for military purposes, and that the use of ICTs in future conflicts between states is becoming more likely. In light of that, part of UNIDIR's activities are exploring international cyber crisis resolution mechanisms. Our ongoing research projects focus on national capabilities and doctrines in relation to international cyber operations and also on the application of chapters 6 and 7 of the UN Charter in cyberspace and in the context of cyber incidents. Now, we're delighted to be part of the IGF consultations we recognize the importance of the multi-stakeholder approach to international ICT peace and security discussions, and we indeed engage with a wider community through our multi-stakeholder dialogues, seminars, and of course, our annual cyber stability conference. Thank you very much for having us and for giving us the opportunity to provide an overview of the various relevant activities of UNIDIA. We're very much looking forward to the discussions during the IGF 2021, and we eagerly anticipate the outcomes.